Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tiny Tuesday. I should have a good Tiny Tuesday flash, some something like that. So, hello to Miss Liz, Mr. Herb, Miss Kimberly, Pajama Quilter, Miss Nati, Miss Crafty Annie, Mr. Steve. Let's see who else. That's And how was your, oh, okay. Crafty Annie's asking Herb, how was your day? And, and, and Herb is saying, how was your? I was just going through, scrolling real quick. So I, if I, if you said something, let me go back. I was just scrolling real fast. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. There we go. Okay. So welcome to Tiny Tuesday, and today we are making some shelvings. And if we finish with the shelving, we got time for a picket fence. I got all the stuff cut already, so for that, I'm going to switch the camera so we can start working on the shelving. I already cut these because it takes a while to cut these because I cut this from a eighth inch um, bass piece, piece of basswood and it takes me a while to cut by hand. Hello Miss Connie B. So I'm going to switch my camera. Let's go over here and ding ding ding. Okay, everybody saying to everybody say everybody to everybody else. Okay, here's the I cut. I'm gonna, I was thinking of three boards because that that'll put it. Um, where's my ruler? Because I'm gonna do like a step, uh, a stair step sort of thing, and that that will put it three feet into the room. And I cut them because I cut the board in half that that I had, and and it's a little over. Just. Just under six feet, so it's five and three quarters, so five foot three six nine, but five foot three nine, five foot nine inches. That was hard to say. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Where's my? There we go. My little plans here. I think I. Have it right here. Here we go. I'll do if I have time to, to do something like this one in the future. I, I want to do a, the, the ladder type one, but we're doing this one here that has a step like that. But I'm not going to make it, you know, solid. So I need to do a frame to put the shelves on. So that's what I'm working on today. On my, on my little sketches and stuff. Uh, need to put this somewhere. There we go. Hello, Karen. Let's see if anybody else came in. No. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I was thinking of doing it with the with the with the popsicle sticks. So pretend this is like a stair step like this, like that, and like this, so like that. You can't even see what I'm, I'm trying to hold this up. I'll be like this, but with spaces in between. So I need to see how, I think I want this about six inches off the ground, which is half an inch, right? So I need to do a, a half an inch and then probably a foot in between each one. But we'll see. Let's do the first because I'm, I'm going to do, I need, I'm, I'm going to do a frame across the, the bottom here. So I'm going to use this. Is, is this long enough? No, it's not long enough. 
Okay, let's grab let's grab the, the pop up sticks. Let me grab the pop up sticks. I didn't think I needed a pop up stick, but I need a pop up stick. Pop up stick, I mean, is one of these from from Walmart. See, they have different sizes. You got, they got that size, and then you got the regular size. So I'm looking using the pop up stick here. Put that right there. So we're going to cut this at a six inches the height. And then the width of this board here. Hit that like button and share. Show Nancy that love, says Miss Liz. Thank you, Miss Liz. And I'm sure we have some lurkers, so we're going to sh share that video for all the lurkers out there. Hope, hoping I can keep, keep you guys company while you're crafting. And then I want to make sure because I have th this side of the board, which is a dark, dark, darker edge, is, is the, the actual straight edge. So I'm going to keep that to the front of, on all of them. And there's one that I, I messed up when I was cutting. This one right here is a little is a little nick right there. So I want that at the bottom. And I can I think that's that's it. Oh, is dear Nancy? Yes, thank you. So, like I said, the the bottom row, I want as six inches off the ground. So I'm, I want to do. Should I do? Uh, well, let, let's let's. Uh oh. Gotta be careful with these things. The tent. And this one is not flat. It's a little weird. Let me go get another papa stick. I have them right here next to me. That one, you see it? And you can't see it, but it's, it's. You know, like any popsicle stick or, or, or this one, I, be, I used it, but can I, it's flat. And it's long enough to, to cut the length of that. So let's use this one. And slowly. And I know it takes a while to get across, but if you do it too fast, your ruler will tend to move on you. And you won't have a nice straight edge. So if it takes 10 passes, it takes 10 passes. I, I, I realize with the miniatures sometimes is patience. So I'll use my uh, my miter shears and I'm, I'm lining this up. So I'm going to put this right here, make this even. Mr. Larry, hello. There we go. Mark that side. Like I said, always close it when you put it down because that is, that is a sharp blade. Not sharp like the the exacto sharp, but it is sharp. So I'm just sending it down a little bit where I cut it. Okay. So this one here is going to be like these. And that goes to the top here. And I'm going to <clears throat> glue this piece down already because I, I, I know where it's going. And we'll go from there. <clears throat> and I'm not going to do it at the edge. I'm going to put it back just slightly. I got dry glued on the... On, on the on the nozzle here. Hello, Miss Aisha. Welcome. 
Welcome to Tiny Tuesday, everybody. Let's walking in. Don't forget to share me out if you don't mind. There we go. And I'm going to use one of these guys here. Actually, two of them. Yeah, two of them. Two of these to give the width at the, from the edge. I think it's going to be just right. So we're going to put that there and there. So did anybody um, was able to see the, the, the eclipse yesterday? Florida wasn't in the well. Some some of Florida was, but not not um central Florida where I live. So we, we all we got was a real bright sun. And it actually dropped about seven eight degrees in temperature while it was there. So I put the the popsicles under so and then I may have to um. I'm putting this here as a, as a weight to keep it from falling back. The the piece going across is just slightly longer, so I'll I'll take. Larry says, "Nope, I was in cardio rehab." And he said, "We were almost total, and it dropped our temps as well." No, I have clouds, so I could not see it. I'm sorry, Paula. It just got dark here in New York, but I didn't see nothing. Then I guess it cleared up. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. As you, you, um, some places were that, that were um, in, the, in the path were cloudy. I have a few friends that, said that, 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 that they were in the clouds most of the day. And then after the eclipse, the, um, the sun, the, the clouds just disappeared. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see. I think I need to do. I'm gonna use this piece of wood here to because I was already using it to draw stuff to to see the plans. That way I know more or less how I want the framing on the side. So this guy will have to slides to the right here. Carefully slide him over. There. Okay. Because we have... Where's the other piece? This is this is a stand-in piece because this, this one got messed up at the bottom here. You see? I, 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 was, I was not um, patient with it. <laughs> so I know I don't, I don't want any gaps in between. From the shelf to shelf, so I, I know that it's going to be just the width of this guy, like this. So you can do this on paper, but I just had this board already. The bees and the birds were going nuts, and all the neighborhood dogs were out of sorts. They said it was because of the eclipse causes animals to think it's nighttime. Yes, I heard that. And Paul says, Nancy, I got your envelope. Yay, made it. Yeah, like I said, we, we, we had trouble getting um, mail out because of getting stamps. But they, they eventually go out. So if, if you do, the only thing, the good about doing pirate ship is that it um I can print the, the labels here and, and, and order a pickup. But with um regular mail because the the giveaways unless it's a bigger bigger item um they don't get tracking numbers so I just use put, put stamps on them. I had another a, a nicer ruler than this one. You guys see it? I was using it earlier today to cut. Oh, there it is. It was under the board. 
So I know that the, the, the first row is six inches off the ground. So I'm going to draw a line here. Oh, oh you don't need to see my name. Let we need all the screen available. There we go. No problem, Mr. Herb. I'm here to keep you guys company. Why you guys keep me company? So if you need to go lurk and work, that's fine with me. I'm bringing these lines down because that way I can easily. There we go. So the, the, the board is an eighth of an inch thick. So, okay. So the first... The first one is down here. So we don't need any framing for that one. I need a framing for the rest of it. Okay. And um, I think the first one, I do want it 12 inches, I think. And then the, the one in the back, a little bit higher for bigger plants. So this line up this one here. Right. And that's the bottom, right? And it's the, again the board is eighth inch, so that's the board. Oh no, she didn't. Kimberly says she 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 she's making a one twenty four scale eyeglasses. Oh my goodness. A what? A 144 scale what? 124 scale eyeglasses. Oh, you gonna make some little eyeglasses? Kimberly is. And Herb says I have music in the background and five other monitors with stuff on it. Hey, that's fine too. I'm gonna make the back one probably. Let's see, where's a foot and a half? Cause I don't I don't want it too big. So a foot and a half high from that one. And then that's going to be the quarter inch, I mean the eighth inch board. So these are the boards, which, where, are, where did I put them? She's. Actually, this one. Oh, oh. One of the popsicle sticks got stuck. There we go. So this is the, the bottom board. It didn't, didn't glue nice and straight, but we can fix that when we put the rest of it. So this is the one that goes right here. Up, right there. Let's move over a little bit. Hold on. So you can see a little bit better. A slide is over. There we go. This is the one that goes right here. Right? And then we have that one there. Right? And hold on. Let's get the last one. That one right there. You get the idea so far? Hi, Miss Darcia. So we're gonna put that to the side, and now we got. I have to figure out a framing for the side. I have an idea. Um, it's actually the thumbnail that I put for the. Let me see if I had if I could see download thumbnail thumbnail. Here we go. We're looking at the thumbnail. So on the thumbnail, they, they have this little lip on all of them. So I, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. And then they have the supports going like this. Are they cut into it? I can't tell from this picture if it's cut into that. Let me see if there's a, I have another picture of this. 
Oh, no, I don't. Hold on. Anybody else come in while I was over there? No. Oh, Kimberly sent me a picture. Uh, Miss Kimberly, would you like me to share your, your eyeglasses with the class? Because that's crazy. I'm doing here step shelves for plants. Um, dimensions. Here we go. Because with dimensions, I can um, the the. They'll show you how, how to do it. I've never built anything like this, so I'm 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 trying to find oh easy. Okay, I see this one looks easy. It's straight pieces. Okay, what they have, they have a board going across from there to there, right here, right? Actually, all the way to the back. This one's all the way to the back. Right, a, bo a board all the way to the back from there. And then they have a board, because they all have um, the lip, right? So maybe I should put the lip on the front, and instead of back like this. I'll leave this one like this, but the, the, these right here, and then they have a board going from there to there. Right, then a then a board from here, all the way to the back. Right, I'm saying right to myself, okay, guys. And then this board going this way down to here. And then the one full one coming down from the back. So this won't be here. Where's my my crafty girl book? I mean zipper pouch. This won't be here. So I'm thinking of using the popsicle stick. So it'll be, I know it's a little thick for the popsicle sticks. But you know what? I'd rather have it thick, thick or should I cut them down? Should I cut them down or leave them thick? Uh, Miss Kimberly says it's my call. Where's my phone? She sent me the little eyeglasses that she's working on a 1 to 24 scale. You guys ready for it? Is that a penny, Miss Miss Kimberly? That's a penny, guys. She's making Harry Potter's glasses. Come on. There we go. Look at those itty bitty things. Oh my goodness. That's really small. I'm sorry you have bad allergies, Miss Miss Annie. So I'm to, to avoid anything falling apart, I'm going to keep the, the sticks, the thickness that they are. Because that way I, I know that the, 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 the shelving, and I'm going to use this right here to do the, the cutting. Oh, this one will have to cut down because it's too thick. Okay, let's do that. You've had three people ask you why you were crying today. Miss Pam, be creative. It's lurking. Yeah, we have a lot, lot of friends that are allergy sufferers. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to make, like I said, this one's going to stay with the little thing in the front like this. You know, back up, backed up a little bit from there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go from here, 
I'm sure there's an easier way to, to do all this, but this is the way Nancy's brain works. And pieces this size, I keep because you never know when you need something this small. Instead of cutting a bigger piece down. Like I said, this one has to be cut just a tad bit because if you put it, if I put it here, you see, it's just a little bit. Just slightly bigger, so we're going to trim that off a little bit. Like I said, take your time to cut it. It's just a sliver. And you got, and with these popsicle sticks, you gotta be careful because um, they tend to um, crack and break easily. Hold on a second. I need to check my settings. What audio is it being used? The Razor Kyle. Okay. For some reason, the the new one, the microphone, sounds like I'm muffled. The Razor Kyle is a little better, but not not a hundred percent. So let me know if if the sound is okay. So this piece goes right there, right? So where's it? So this goes right on top of that. And it's still, oh, you know what? Hold on. I I didn't cut it right because I had to put it along this side here, along the actual piece right there. See? So I have to cut that off. There we go. Yes, I know. They run with the grain. But sometimes you have to cut it with the grain to, in order to um, use it. So this is going to be there. So I'm just scoring it a little bit at a time. So that way it doesn't split where I don't want it to. That's why it takes a while to cut through them. There we go. See? The sliver is off. So this piece goes along there like this. There we go. Ta-da! So this piece is right here. Now we got to cut this piece going across, um, on top. So let's cut this piece down I always send that piece down because they're a little riff hello Miss Connie so you put this piece here Do I actually I want to put the piece on top because doing it like, like this, there's not a lot of gluing to, to, to do there. So I may do it this way from the bottom. So it'll be behind this this board here. So we're gonna go, go from the bottom. Let's um line the board up. I know you don't build stuff like this. No, usually you screw it on to each other, but since this is itty bitty boards, get that piece out. It was impeding my. There we go, and measure it to the bottom of this board. And then we're going to cut this piece. 
And these I'm not going to uh, trim them down because I don't need to and, and I don't want to. <laughs> if I had if I had um thinner um popsicle sticks, I, I would use those, but I ran out of the other ones that were thinner than this. So we work with what we have, right? So this piece goes like that, right? And then this piece goes on top like that. And when I'm going to do the piece that goes across this way, I'm also going to do all the way to the end. I'm thinking out loud. These are the fences. Get out of the way, fences. Okay. Again. Cut. Oh, I may may have been able to use this piece here. This is the, the piece that I cut earlier. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm 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 trying to, to see the uh actually I want it to go all the way to the end and all the way to the end here. Oops. It goes there. See, that goes right there, right? And this goes down below, like that. And then this one goes on top like that. Then we're gonna cut that one, and then this last one. We might need one going across here. Because you have one here for this board, here this for this board, here for, so we might need to get one here as well, which actually goes behind all these boards. Okay, so we're going to slide these over this way, and then this one will go all the way down to the bottom here, and all the way to the top here. And once I cut these, get these cut, cut, I will be able to just measure and cut for the second side. Woo! Did you see that fly up? <laughs> see, we can use this for, for another piece in a, sec in a second. See, that one goes there, right? That one goes, no. This one goes here. This one goes there. This one goes on top here, and this one goes on top here, which means that's that's why we need another one going across here for the horizontal for this to be even. Okay. Okay, two more pieces, and we can make a second one. So we need well, the piece that we just cut here. We can use to cut over here. Right there. Because they fly, I put them like this. G stay away from the edge there. Where is it? See, I'm, I'm staying away from that, that, that edge because I need to make sure that this guy doesn't fly away. Because I need him. Is it this guy? No. Did I measure something wrong? No, that is that guy. There, that guy. Now we need the one from the top to the bottom. That we need a new stick because um, I need some longer ones. I I I got me a, su a large supply of popsicle sticks because <laughs> I wanted to do the. 
the picket fence and I didn't have any regular popsicle sticks. So Mr. Earl went and got the ones that the, the Dollar General had and they were the, too big for the for the fence. So when we went to Dollar Tree, was it Dollar Tree? Yeah, when we went to Dollar Tree, we, I picked up a pack of the regular popsicle sticks. So this is going to be like that. This is that one. No, not that one. Hold on. This, oh, this is the one that goes across. This one here. Right here, right? This is the one at the bottom. So then we need, is it this one or this one? This one here. No, this is too small. Is it? Hold on. I'm missing a piece. Do you go across? Oh, you're too short. You go right here. It's like a puzzle now. And you seem a little too short. I think you go. No. Okay, guys. I think I cut something wrong. Hmm. This guy's at the one at the bottom. That I know, because he's he's shorter, width wise. This one is too long for there, and this is supposed to go all the way. Okay, that one's there. So I need the one that goes up and down, which is this one. There we go. That one goes there. There. This one goes at the bottom. I really don't know what I'm doing, guys, but hey, we'll figure it out together. And I think this one goes is, is the one that goes up here. And then all the shelves, like this one here, will sit like that. So on and so forth. Right? I'm going to do something real quick so I can remember. There we go. So I label this so I can remember how the puzzle piece go back goes back together. So I need to cut another set of these exactly for the other side of, of the of the bookshelf. I shall be here. Be careful. Love you. Love you too. So for the the bottom one, we have to cut it down to six inches, which is half an inch. No, it's a quarter inch, right? Hold on. Quarter inch. I'm not thinking, guys. Again, slowly. There we go. Mr. Larry put a uh, minion in my VW van. Yeah, you guys can play. Have fun with those uh, emojis. If you don't have anything to say, just put send an emoji out. And also that little heart on the side, that counts as engagement as well. So why not play with that as well? I don't see it on on the on the StreamYard side, but YouTube does. So So this is another another A piece. So 
So I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut on the inside of that line because it should be the same size as that one. Ta-da! So we got, let's move these guys over. We got two A pieces. Okay. Now we're going to cut the B piece. Where's the B? This is B. Do we have any? Miss Angela, Miss Angel, the crafty halo, says it, it's, her fire stick is not working tonight, so I'm watching here tonight, which is on Facebook. And she shared me on both platforms. Thank you, Miss Angel. Yes, I'm streaming to Mr. Mr. Facebook as well. And um, I will start sh streaming onto Twitter and Instagram. I have to check Instagram because um, when they were able to use Instagram, they were having trouble with the comments on StreamYard, so I need to f figure out if that's still working, because if it is, I'll be, I'll be streaming onto Instagram as well. The more the merrier, right? I'm labeling it before I cut it, so that way if it flies, I know. And I'm sorry that your fire stick is not working, Angel. And just double check them. Cool. That's B. Uh, C is the big one. Let's get it. We need to get a full one for that one. I appreciate each and every one of you that's watching. You could be anywhere else watching. Or doing anything you want. And you're supporting my channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm going to give you a little thank you. This is C, right? Double check that they're both. There we go. A C. I'll give you a little thank you. Just for being here. I'm going to give you the doggy one. And, and, and I'm drinking from my Be Creative water bottle. Courtesy of Miss Angel. She got this for me from Miss Ram. And it keeps it nice and cold. And it's purple. Sorry. I think we could use this one here for this piece here. Let me get, I like to line them up there like that. That way I know that I'm cutting this even with that. And this is what? The F. Let me label the F here. <laughs> and Miss Kimberly joined Miss Angel. <laughs> the pajama quilter is over on Facebook too. <laughs> Thank you guys. There we go. We got F right here. Got two more pieces to cut. And this one should be enough for that one. Okay. Line these up. And in a bit, I'm going to do a giveaway from one of my latest videos. From the comments section.
you never know which video I'm going to do. So you, you please leave a comment anytime, anywhere. Because I'm going to grab, once I finish cu cutting these guys, I'm going to go grab the comments from that video. And it's something pretty today. Not that, not that any other time is not pretty. All my giveaways are pretty because it's a lot of times my handmade items that I make. So we're going to cut this last one and then I'll go grab that video. And there. And I'll, this time I didn't share how I did it. I grabbed the video last time. So I'll, I'll do the other steps. So you guys can see. Woo! Did you see that one? I think I'm gonna have to ha have um. Oh, what happened? I think it, I think you're the one that's supposed to be kept, right? Let's let's double check. Yeah, he is. So he's D. Okay. So we got A B C D E F. Ta-da! Oh, right there. Now, now that they're all, all cut, we're, I'm going to put the, the lips on these first because I'm just going to cut it from the same papa stick. Like I said, I'm going to do a quarter inch on each one. I'm trying. I'm, tr I'm trying to to grow my Facebook business page as well. Um, I'm over two thousand over there. So thank you if, if you're. Oh, that that one came out. Okay, that's messed up. Hold on. So like I said, I'm I'm, I'm over at two thousand over there, which is cool. And on my Instagram, I'm over a thousand, which is also cool. So trying trying to grow on my platforms. There we go. Okay. This is not. This is this is the where's the other board? I know I had another board. Hold on. There it is. It was hiding under the board. Cause this one's a this one's a scrap board. This is the board I need. Thank you, thank you. And I'm, I think, 450 or less to my 6K on YouTube. These are miter shears. If you go to my my um, Amazon storefront in the link in the description box below, I have them link, linked. Okay. So that piece goes in the front of this one. So let's do another piece. Daddy pop, daddy popsicle stick. But I think that this one is a little damaged on the on the bottom here. So we're gonna flip it like that. To cut from the top here all the way down. I 
I don't do much on TikTok. I mean, yeah, TikTok. No, not TikTok. Yeah, TikTok too. I, I, but I, I don't do much on Twitter. The only thing I do on Twitter is share my videos out. I don't do anything else there. So I don't even know what numbers I have there. Also, I go on TikTok, but um, I didn't like TikTok one day. Took out took fifty eight of of my followers. I, I was I was at at over four hundred there, and then one day that half of them were gone. I mean, fifty of them were gone. So I'm not sure how how they 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 do that and why they do that. I know that some people have done, had that happen to them. Oh, look over there. Miss Liz is also on the on the Facebook side. Hello, Miss Liz. Thank you, ladies. Maybe maybe that is it also in I wonder if my hubby has a pair now. I'm going to have to go snooping in his shop. Ooh. Hey, free tools is all, always good, in my opinion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're going to take an intermission here for a second. And I'm going to go find the video that I'm going to use for the giveaway. Uh, video. Here we go. Video. Okay, we're going to pause it because... What? Not, not yet. Skip it. Skip it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go to random common picker. Random. Random. YouTube. There we go. Once I get all the windows open, I'll, 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 I'll share with you guys. There we go. It's thinking now. Okay. Now we'll go to StreamYard. We should have a party over here. Yay, party! Share screen. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, random comment picker. Okay. You guys see that? Does it share where I am now? No, it doesn't. Oh, well, I am getting, let's, let's share the, the page that I'm on now. Shop screen, because I want you to see which video I am picking from. The one from today. And we got several, several commenters on there. So I have to copy right and then we go to the random comment picker and paste okay now it now we're going to go here and remove and present again i'm sorry all, all these steps but that, that's how streamyard likes to do it so they don't let you you know go from page to page to page you have to share every time random comment picker share there is the there is the page or the video and we're going to add add this seven and tab get YouTube comments and there's eight comments so you guys ready are, are, is it showing what I'm doing now yes okay you guys ready to see Oh, I forgot to show you what you guys are going to be winning. <laughs> Hold on. It's a little small. But this beautiful butterfly notebook. It's made out of chipboard. And it's made out of um, index cards that I glued together to make into, into a little pad. And it also has a little pocket here. So butterfly video for a butterfly notebook. Ready, set. Go. Miss Shirley. D. I don't was, was she here? 
I don't think I've seen her um, today, but Miss Shirley, you are the winner today of this beautiful notebook. It's chipboard. I, I made it from scratch. It's got a little pocket there. And these are index cards that I glued on top here and made into a notepad. So she can rip them out if she wanted to or not. But and and, and um, I should have waited to send her package, uh, her her letter, because she wa she won um one of the other things too. <laughs> oh well. And and that'll be going regular mail as well. So no tracking. And if you don't get it within the week, you know that. that like I said, stamps are hard to get by when you don't have a car. Okay, we're going to glue these pieces to the front of the boards here. Miss Annie says I gotta go change the laundry, but I'll leave you on. Thank you, Miss Annie. And for some reason, sometimes my eyes don't want to focus, so we need to get my reading glasses up. Make sure that this is okay. This is the bottom side here, okay? Because I need to glue this, add glue to the edge here. We don't want too much glue, so we're going to grab that glue and just rub it along the edge. Like I said, we don't want that too much glue. I'm going to keep this glue because I'm going to use it for the next one. So like I said, this one's going to be on the front front of the board here. So I think, I think the best way to do this is stand this up and slide this in. There we go. Like that. Okay. And this is to the front. That's the bottom. Okay, this is right. So we're going to grab this piece and the leftover glue that I got here. I'm just going to add it along the edge here. So there's no glue wasted. Add some more there. See? We don't want to waste any glue. Wait a minute. Hold on. See, I need to go to my Facebook side because someone sent me something on the Facebook side. Stop sharing. Because I don't see it over here. Let's see. Miss Liz sent me some stars on Facebook. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. Okay, we're going to stand this up like this and put this up like this. Stars is just like a super chat on Facebook side to, to give the creator. A tip. Okay, we're gonna let that let that sit there. If 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 I don't acknowledge you for, for the stars on Facebook side, it's because this is all I see from on StreamYard. That's all I see. <laughs> so I'm not sure it was a blank comment or not. <laughs> but um the, the, it, it it doesn't it doesn't show me everything. This this is a little there we go. I need to hold it for a second because it's it's not um this piece of board one of one of the boards is, is crooked. The the top board or the bottom board, I can't tell you. So I'm gonna hold it for a second. So if anybody sees Miss Shirley coming in. Congratulate her. 
And like I said, you never know which video I'm going to grab my 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 giveaways from. So that's a good thing to leave a comment on every video, and you and you have a better chance of winning. I'm not I, I'm not um um how you call it paying you for those comments. It's just the way to support the channel as well. I look like an old lady look, looking over my glasses. Not that I'm not an old lady. Okay, we're gonna let them sit for a second. I know this one's dry. So let's start with um oh I wish I, I wanted to slide that one over, but that's fine. Oh, hold on. That one is stuck to the board. Let me get my... Where's my spatula? My little... Cricket spatula. It's up here somewhere. Hold on. <sighs> did I use it? And didn't put it back? Shame on me. Oh, well. I don't see it up here. I guess I did use it and didn't put it back. Um, so I'm going to use something else that I have readily available. It's my blade from my polymer clay. Because what I need to do is slide it under. There, oh, that was, it wasn't too stuck. There we go. See this one? It wasn't too stuck either. Oh, this side over here. There we go. Oh, well. That one goes there. Okay. This is the one from the, the bottom row. We need to get... Hey! I need to see which order I need to put them in in order to glue them. I may re regret how, how I, I put these because I'm not sure how I'm going to put them over here. We'll figure it out. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll just take it apart. I need to go D. Like that. Wait a minute. Why is these? Oh, these back here. Right there. Okay. And do F, 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 F. Where are you? Oh, little guy. Back and Nightbot has taken over. Yeah, I saw that one, one, one after the other. And I don't have them set up for one after the other. So I do not know why Nightbot just did that. Because I have them at random times. Hold on, my phone just dinged. I wouldn't take it, but that um, is one Earl. Okay, it's not Earl. I thought it was Earl. Um, that goes there. So we're going to glue B on top of here, right? E on top of there, and then C on top of the, uh, the all these here. So I need to grab my little Oh, I still haven't changed the word, so if you want to drop your channel link, do it once per per stream, the word is still quilt. There's there's so so many things that I, that I need to take care of and I and that's not on the top of my priority list, you know what I mean? So if you want to so this goes like this. Okay, hold this like that. And this one goes up. Come on, stay in, in where, where I put you. Okay? It's not a hard job. Just stay right there. No one, no one needs to know. 
where you need to go. Right there, and you go right here. So we're gonna hold it for a second. Okay. Now we're going to glue E to these guys over here. I forgot that if I don't open the, the email, I mean the text message that'll keep on beeping. So let me, let me open it so they don't stop beeping. I need to see where, where I put my finger over here, right there, to put that one there. Oh, I cut this one too short, but you know what? I haven't glued any of the other pieces together, so this shelf is going to be just a little lower than I, than I had anticipated, because I'm not going to go back and, and do all that again. So slide this like that. Make that even like that. You see how uh, it's about an, a, a stick too small, but that's fine. The only thing is, okay, this one needs to go up a little bit and over. This one is going to be too long. So I need to, I, I do need to cut this one down. So we're going to line it up there. So that one there and okay hola maritza and then the this one here i need to cut down as well because remember we, we we had two of each I was hoping to get to get to the book the the fence, but it's getting long here. Okay. Okay. And we hold this piece here and that piece there. It's still, I was still off, but when it dries up, I'll trim it down. What I have to remember when I do the other side, I got to put the vertical pieces first, then the horizontals, because it's on the other side, so it has to be mirror image. So we're gonna wait for a few seconds for that to 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 set up for before I touch it, because I need to move it to get the the other ones. So while I do that, um, I'll show you guys the plants I made last week that I, I had started the leaves on the live with polymer clay, and here is one of them and I painted the, the pot with the, some terracotta paint that I mixed up because I didn't have terracotta color so I, when I when I baked it I, I you know bent the leaves a little bit so it has a, some little shape and twisted some that's the, one of the bigger ones and here's the itty bitty baby one that has a, the little baby leaf right there so that's the, the snake plants that I worked on last week. And the little pearl plant, the succulent pearl plant, here it is. And um, to show you the size of these little pearls, here's a tip of a pencil. So you can see how small they are. They're itty bitty. And this one I used uh, um, a thread that um, a jute thread for this one, but these I actually use wire, so that way I can just shape them any which way. So see, I can, I can move this over here if I wanted to, or move that that over that way if I wanted to. It's glued. It's only um, has a little 
glue dot to the top of this barrel because I, I wanted to put it onto one of these shelves. So I didn't want these guys to get nicked or, you know, knocked off the, the, the wire. So that's why it's on here. And then um, with the extra... The extra wire and the extra um, clay, I mixed it all up and made some little heart leaves. These guys, we got you know, that's, that um, variation, we got that variation, that variation, and these are going to go into a pot. I just put them there to, to, to dry while the, the wire was gluing to this side. So, see, all I did was... Can you see? Can you see? Him? There's, no, there's no, oh, Hold on, right here. Maybe over here. Oh well. There we go. This one here. I, I glued the wire to the leaf, so that's why they're sitting here. And I left them there for for, for now. But I definitely have. Since I, I mixed a bunch of that that green up, I made a bunch of leaves. <laughs> so I still have a bunch of snake plant leaves that I put in my little little um, miniature tray, and a bunch of the uh, heart leaves as well. So I, if I don't have enough plants, I can make more of these. So this guy should be set up for, for you know. For me to move him. Okay. And like I said, I need to do the reverse. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. So this one has to go down. Yeah, this one has to go down first. Along with the E. Right, like here. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? So I know exactly that these guys are going to match up with this one over here. I'm just going to put these on top. Like this. Right? Do the cross pieces. And it'll be the same exact location. Ta-da. So that way one side will be even with the other side. There, and then to put the glue on this side over here. So we're going to put that there, and then this one there. Hold on. B's not there. You guys didn't scream out, B's not there, Nancy. Let's dry this out. I was wondering why it wasn't lining up. So, oh man, let's dry this up. Okay, this one goes here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I meant to, to turn away and I didn't in time. Hopefully it didn't bust anybody's ears. Okay, this one goes here. Okay, line this up line nicely right there. Line this one up nicely with this one. Right? And then put this guy right there. Okay? Just move this down a little bit. I'm going to pre press right here where these two meet and line move these guys there. And while I'm holding this one, I'm going to add glue to this piece, and that piece. Whoops! I'm not. I know I'm not, I'm not holding that one. There's a piece of hair on there. How did that happen? And a piece right here. Okay. And now grab this guy and put him across these three. 
lining them up evenly. And this guy needs to slide up a little bit. I'm sorry if I, if I get in the way, guys. I need to look over overhead. There we go. And slide this one over. Slide that one over. And then we need some more glue because this one... I could use this for filling philodendrons too. The the heart shaped leaves. I I know what some plants look like, but talk, 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 ask me what the what their names are. I, I I can't. I called out, bless you, as though you could hear me. I heard you, Kimberly. I heard you. <laughs> And this one goes right here. It's even with that one. But like I said, this one is a little taller. But we'll clip that off when these dry. But we'll make the all. Is that even with the bottom one? Even with that. There we go. There we go. Ta-da! Now we're going to wait for a few minutes. Anybody have any questions, comments, or this came up pretty good. That's the first the first. This is this piece up here. And then this one's the second one. Oh, it didn't not too bad. This one goes up here. Like that. I, I have to trim some of that, that that one leg back there. And Pam, Paula says, no, I just enjoy watching you. Thank you. And this, this one goes right here. It doesn't like, um, butt up to this leg here, but that's okay with me. That's okay with me. So we're going to just wait a few minutes because I don't I don't want to touch it right now. <laughs> um okay, well that's what working. I, I could do um what I was planning on doing with the the fence too. We can slide this guy off. Put the shelves over here so they don't get mixed up and broken. But you see that that's already solid. Wait a minute. See these guys are already pretty solid on here. See? You just have to wait. I have on the other side of this board where I started doing some planning. So can we move this guy? Yeah, we can. So we're going to slide him carefully off the board. Like that. See here? I was doing the, the fencing. So I, I I'm not I can't finish the fencing because I need to get some quarter inch square dowels for the you know the 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 posts for the fence, but I can do the the panels because you see here the one one side of the of the wall is ten feet and this is ten inches and this is the center so I'm doing two panels with the quarter inch dowel in between. And this is the back wall is six inches, which is six feet, and this is the center of that. So I cut a bunch of these popsicle sticks, like picket fences, and I used my miter shears as well. But I use I went here because you can move this this guy here to different degrees, and I moved it to the forty five degree angle. Right there. So I was able to do this. Let me grab one so you could see how I did it. And I just eyeballed it. So, and then you turn the popsicle stick the other way. And again, I eyeballed it. There we go. And then I sand it. There you go. And what I did to cut the length, I lined up all the pickets along um, my ruler and drew a line and then th these are all the, the same height so what i was thinking 
is putting these here, right? Even leaf spaced. And I have, let me get the other, or the other pieces that I, these guys here. Nope, not you. You're for the, the, the shorter pieces. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, this one. See right here? These these boards here are go between the quarter inch and the quarter inch um post that I'm gonna put there. So I can put these across here to make the panels. So I have I have those for the two panels here, and then I have the two smaller sets of panels. I know I don't need to do two smaller sets of panels because it, it's the it's not that, that long, but I wanted to, to have a post in between just cuz so that's it. that's for the other one here so i'm going to draw this line all the way down cuz that that way i can see it hold on i hope i'm not boring you guys I'm just I just need this line and I'm lining it up the, at, at the bottom with the with the so now I know that that my panels you see here are between those and that and that so now I can put these and you can put them in you know butt to butt back to back to, like this if you wanted to Maybe I, I will do it that way. That way I don't have to worry about the spacing in between being even. And you know my OCD is not going to let to let me, you know. And and I don't have massive OCD. Okay, I'm not that crazy sometimes, but some things you know if it's not even, Nancy will notice, and Nancy will not. See right here? I'm, I'm using my ruler to line them up at the bottom here. There's a piece of wood here that's not going to let me. So let's go like this. And you just push it down. Come on. Hold on. I need to trim up a little piece of wood right here because it's, it's not letting my ruler get up to it. Right here. There we go. There we go. I like doing these lives and showing some things that I'll do beforehand and not show you. And some things I'll show you the process, like, you know, the drawing of that, of that, of this piece here, the, yeah, these are, these are dry already. The stands, because some 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 of you may not know how how to do that, and and I'm not, I'm not saying that the way I did it was right, but you can see Nancy's process. So we're gonna do this here, right? Line them up nicely like this, okay? And so they don't move on me. While I'm I'm gluing the vertical pieces, I mean the horizontal pieces, I'm gonna tape the center down because the center won't have a board. Again, I'll double check. And the the the, the bottom of the of the fence is not gonna be seen because it's gonna be behind the, the planter and stuff. So if it's if it's close enough, it's close enough. You see here. It's pretty close. So what I do, I'll grab this here, put a bead across. I'm running out of, I have to refill my glue bottle. I still have some. 
I'm going to see, I'm going to use the mid-size boys, this one here, to put it at the bottom and then put this on top. So that, that way I know more or less that this is even at the bottom. And if you want some more to check, grab this ruler. This ruler has, is, is pretty cool because of the lines in between here. And you could just put it at the bottom of the of there and see where the lines are. So this looks like it needs to be up a little bit over here. Just like that. And press. There we go. Now we do the, the top bar. Ah! I almost flipped it on my hands. Again. Put that there. And if you have one of these, a little T-square, oh, oh, another bookmark I made years ago. Put this on the side of the board, because this is a T-square. It'll square it up for you. Put it right there. You see, bring this down. And then just to ch double check, Hold on. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Okay, here we go. Just double check. It's uh, two inches. Just under two. Just a little over two inches on both sides. Okay, now we're going to get a piece of something to weigh it down because this one's popping up over here because the popsicle six is probably... Not feeling well. Take care, folks. I'm sorry, Herb. I'll keep you in my prayers. You rest up tonight. This one uh, is pretty flat here, so I, I don't have to put weight on that. But now, we get to play with these guys. So while that's drawing and i'll do the same thing for, for another panel for the long wall and then two two panels for the short wall and like i said i i i already had cut all the pickets for it so and it won't be installed it'll be just put in place not installed because i still need to do something for the for the actual cardboard wall because I don't know what to do there. I was thinking of doing like a, a living wall where I use, um, probably get some flocking or use some of that re reindeer moss to, um, well, I have to, I have to trim some of these. Hold on. This one here I have to trim right here. Cause I could, I, I was thinking of cutting the reindeer moss in pieces Little, little, smaller, smaller, smaller pieces. And then glue that to the wall. But I have to experiment and test. There we go. You see? That wasn't so hard. Do I need to do this one over here? Yes, I do. Right about here. Do you guys have neighbors that decide at 9.30 at night to work on their cars? I need to cut. See how this one is just a little slightly taller than this one? So I have to cut a sliver off this, which means I have to cut a sliver off the that whole piece right there. So let's do that little at a time. Because our, our neighbor is, is hammering, I don't know if he's hammering his engine block or what. Because you want both of these pieces to be even, because then if, if not, your shelves will be crooked. 
So you see, that's even. You can't tell from the, but that's even right there. I know the wood is all uneven, but see right there? See how that's even now, more or less? So now we can put these on like this and glue the shelves on. Let's start with the one at the bottom, which is this one. Nope, this one. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, that looked weird. Okay, sh should I have, I think I'm going to have this piece. Hold on. I'm going to have the horizontal pieces on the outside. I don't, I don't like the way that that looks on the outside. So these will be on the inside. See, they're, they're mirrored images. So we're going to grab some glue and put it on the edge here. And this will go like this. Where is it? I don't know if I did, did did this the right way, but we'll find out in a second. Ah! Let's grab this here so stand it up a little bit over here. Okay. I'm going to put some glue here too, just in case I... Down here. I didn't say for you to fall down on the job. Come on. Wake up. No one told you to, to fall down on the job. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we have one working on a boat, 10 at night, and the hubby is in bed. If, at 5 to get up at 11 for work. I'm sorry. Hello, Miss Mishi. Welcome. We're working on some planters and, and, and they don't they don't want to um pay attention to me, so we're we're just holding them in place. Let's grab this one over here and this one over here and put this back over here. There we go. Once I put the top top two shelves on, they, they should they should fit. You know what I'm gonna do? Ha! Ah, I know what I'm gonna do. Hold on. We got we got some painters tape here. I'm gonna tape them down while they, they're setting up onto the actual board here. Let's see if that works. I know some of my woodworking friends are probably cringing, but you know what? This is how Nancy thinks. Put that there. Like that. I think I need to put more glue over here because it, it decided to dry up. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Come on, go over. Tape, get over here. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you move on me. Okay, that should hold it in place while I put the other shelves on. So I need to put glue here and here. Yeah, this goes like this, like that. Come on, come on! Don't do that to me. You have to go out to the edge. There we go. Like 
We have to do the same thing over here. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna hold it there for a second. Hi, Ms. Rosie Posey. Thank you for joining us. Working on a, on a planter stand for my miniature garden room. And we're trying to put the shelves on without the rest of it falling apart. And it's working a little bit. So now I'm going to get my... I have these little rulers, these guys here, so I could know that these are standing up straight, like that. So I'm using this little weight here. One of my, 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 oops. One of my, I can move this guy out, out. I can use him as a weight now. One of my um, wish items that I want to get is what they call one, two, three blocks. They're metal blocks with holes that miniatures use to, to do this number, to hold it in place. Oh, that looks so cute. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making sure that, that it's straight from this side. Let me see if it's straight from the top. It's a little wonky, but you know what? I'm going to leave it alone. You see right here, it's a, it's a little wider here, but when it's in place, you're never going to see it, right? Let's, let's um, zoom out. And while that's drying up, let's check the fence um, panel because that should be dry. So what I'm going to do is use this guy as a weight to keep it from sliding this way. Like, Hold on. It moved. Hold on. Let me double check it. It needs to move this way a little bit. There we go. Are you okay over here? Okay. Let me double check. Hold on. Okay, as straight, or straight as it can be. So we had taped this down. Here we go. Here's the fence post panel. Like I said, the bottom is not gonna be seen, so I don't have to worry about it. So now my problem thing is, do I want this to be facing the, the, the garden? or this part to be facing the garden. You guys let me know. Let's move. Oh, we're gonna have to move some of these plants because we're gonna have to put the planter in there. And the, the, the little um, glass jars that, that um, I was, I'm gonna put the fairy lights in, I found one, two, three, four, five of them. If I can look find more, I will, but... Um, like I said, I was gonna put. I'm putting the fairy lights inside these little jars, so it looks like lanterns. And I found five of them. I think I have some more, but I I, I do not re, do not do not recall. Like I, I I need a donut. Let's put that there for now. Um, I need to move some of these because I want to see how the. Because this is um, too big of a panel for the back wall, but you can see it. So I'm going to switch the camera. So we can get a better look at this. So if we, do we want it to, the, this to face the inside of the garden room or this side to face the inside of the garden room? So we're going to take these guys out. Because it's going to be behind that guy, like this.
So it's going to be on this side wall and this back wall here. So this is this is what it looks like with the horizontal pieces facing out. If you put cross beams on the other side of the fence, it will be the same either way. That's a good idea. But if you'd like it this way, I don't have to. And I'll be, I don't know if I'll be staining these this color or painting them the same white as the trellis. That's my other thing. Should I stain them or paint them white? So that's going to be across the whole side here, all the way across. But it's going to have the little um, quarter inch um, square dot posts. And then, the, like I said, this guy is going to be in front of it like this. Um, this, this, this why I wish I had a, a, another camera. I need a third camera, guys. <laughs> like I need a third hand. See? There you go. So do, do I want to put this in white? Because there's, there's going to be a post here, right? And you got this. So I, do I want to paint them white? Oh, uh, I, I think um, white is, is um, winning. So we'll paint them white. <laughs> So I need to do another another panel like this and a shorter panel for the back walls. And then I have to go to Home Depot and get the quarter inch square dowels to put in between the panels. Yes, we have a bunch of whites. Okay, the, the, the color, look, I, I can even close it up if I wanted to. But I, I, then you can't see what's inside. I'll put one here. Possibilities are endless. Let's see. This is a, a, a little wobbly. You know what? I, I think I need to do a, a, a cross. Okay, let's switch the camera. Because I think I need to do a cross. A cross piece back here for it to, not to go this way. So again, we're going to get a pop-up stick. Papa stick. This is what I call a papa stick. And we're going to make it um, half the stick, or at least. Because I want a big piece back there to. Because to, to, you're not going to see this part. This is just um, going to be up against the wall. But it, it does need some stability back there. So. Let's cut this piece. I'm hoping this stick is a little straighter than what I'm cutting, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cut one of these pieces off. Okay, I get it guys, white it is. Oh, I forgot, put this back to 90, I'm to zero, I mean. Hola, Noe. Ooh, that one was hard. Okay. Okay, we're going to quote these the same size as these. So we get a pencil and put it right here and measure it right there. And I need lead. There we go. Because you see right now, you see it's it's solid, but it's doing this number. So if I put a cross piece there, it won't do that number. Are you talking about the fence? I'm I'm thinking that that too. Because it gives you an an extra layer of dimension. Versus just the flat. If I had done the, the, the spaces in between, maybe the, the cross beam in the back would be okay. Because you have some, you know, some, whatchamacallit. So this will go back here. But do I, I think I'm going to do it like halfway down. So we're going to. 
cross our fingers. Take this down. These guys going to go like these. And we need to put him, I think, across the middle here. Okay. Let's do this. Glue there. Glue there. Of course, on the span of something this long, you would want something in the middle on a real um, planter. But there, there's not going to be a lot of weight on here. Because all of my miniatures are small. There we go. Put that there. And see how it's not. So you got. Where is that piece? I need to bring it out. There. It's not a hundred percent, but once this dries, it won't wobble. So we're going to tape this piece up. Uh, put my finger through there and hold it and tape. There we go. Oh, oh, the shelf in the bottom uh, just just wobbled off. I thought it was pretty dry, but it's not. So, ah, I'm going to put this piece here. Okay. This bottom shelf popped up. Where? It popped up. I, I saw it pop up. Didn't it? Or is it my imagination? Yeah, it did pop up. So you're going to put some more glue here. Just a little bit more. Okay. Put that back there. Okay. This piece went down. We don't want it down there. We want it up here. I wish I had longer clamps. Than what I have, but we're going to make do with what we have here, which is painter's tape. We're going to, there we go. Even with that one, there we go. Okay, then bring it this, bring it up this way. Let's see. Even there, even there, even all around. And we're going to even. For some reason, are you not even? Oh, you're not even over here. That's what it is. You need to go down a little bit. Down a bit. There we go. Come on. Stay. Good boy. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Yes, I'm crazy. Okay, I'll take this tape all the way to the back. But it's still not. Did I cut that board wrong? Hold on. It's still not even, and it's not, even though it's not on the back, it's going to bother me. So we're going to slide this up just a bit. There. There we go. That's it. 
There we go. Okay. Wait a minute. I think I, my clamps may be big enough for this part here. Hold on. Clamp time. I think they are big enough for that section there, but not for the whole section. I'll tell you what. Just to show you how. It's not big enough for, for this whole thing, right? But it may be big enough for here. So while that dries, excuse me, plants, get out of my way. Right here. Just right at the top of the shelf. There we go. Mr. Earl's back. Right here. There we go. Bring that down. Bring that down so it could, it could. I'm trying to get it even here. There we go. Awesome. They're saying hello, Mr. Earl. Well, hello, people. Okay, so I'm going to add this on top. Oh, what did I get today? Energy trail mix. Miss Paula said hello. Miss Liz Paula. said hello. Hello, Liz. And this is the, the 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 terracotta paint that I mixed. So I put it into this little container. So if I if I wanted to paint more pots, I still had some more paint. Yay. So I'm going to go for intermission real quick, guys. And I'll return in a moment. five seconds to my intermission right I'm back there we go okay you guys want to see should I take it apart or wait thank you Rosie Posey I thought it would be better than, than, than just, you know, watching my mess. But I, I, I have to add it at least five more, five more seconds. Should I wait till I take it apart? I know it's solid right now because the clamps and the, and the weight, so. I don't know what to do. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna switch the camera while that give it five five more minutes. I'm gonna switch the camera and show you one of my projects that I did. I think two years ago. I can't remember. I'll leave the the, the link to the video in the description box that I made out of tumbling tower blocks. But since I was doing a, a bunch of um, plants and succulents and stuff the last few days, okay, this one. I had to fix it because um, it it has um, gotten a little damaged, so I had some tape on it while I was drying up. But this is my Ferris wheel that I made with tumbling tower blocks that houses more of my faux succulents. Let me get the tape off first. 
Oh, gosh. Oh, that's why it, it taped onto itself. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Let me get some a knife. Because it won't release, it's, it's taped onto itself. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. So I made this Ferris wheel out of tumbling tire blocks to house some of my more full succulents. And it's not um, motorized, but it does turn. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I think, I think when I when I when I moved it from where it was. Hold on. There we go. I think that's it. It's supposed to turn. There we go. How I guess the, the, the moving um, from the moving stuff, it because it, I made this when I was at the other house. I've seen um um Lama, I've seen V um do her cows. I, I I follow her on um YouTube. I mean not YouTube, Facebook. So I've seen her cows. So, see all the other little um, things swing, and they have little full succulents. So I don't know why some of these look like they're off. I think like like I said when when I moved here, oh like this one here. There we go. See it's it's loose right here. So I think I need to glue that one in too. And this one is loose too. You see here? So that's what happened. Some of them got came out of the other little holes. So I gotta be, fix it. No big deal. I got glue. I can fix it. Yeah, I've been watching her for a while too. She was she was making some um the octopuses for a while. Uh let me switch my camera so you can see me unveil this guy here. So we're going to take the clamp off. Grab the tape carefully. There we go. And here, you see, it's not, it's not moving back and forth. Thank you for letting me know it's 10 o'clock. So you see here, it's not moving back and forth. And this is even like this. So that's there it is right there. I will be staining this with the, the antique Waverly wax and doing some um, antiquing or roughing it up more than just, just the antique wax. But I'm not going to touch it more than, than just um, until tomorrow. So I'm going to switch the camera again. Okay. So this guy is, I have the lighting in here, which, again, I'm not going to um, attach yet because nothing's attached. 
once I do the walls and the floors, I will start attaching because it's it's getting a little out of hand in here. Oh, I found these guys in the in the car the merry-go-round, not merry-go-round. What's that thing called again? The Ferris wheel. These little white flowers. So that they'll be they'll be getting added to the to the plants in here. So we're going to move some of these plants out of the way. Thank you, thank you. You too. There's dirt everywhere. Fake dirt, of course. So we're gonna grab a little planter and it's gonna go right against this wall here. So I still, I think I can still turn my powder, my powder and plant this way. Here's another jar, the glass jar. So we're gonna get the smaller plants that I that I've made and start stacking them. Let's see. Can I put that one there? Yes, I can. My snake plant can go right there. Do I have anything other small plants? Oh, just a big. Oh, the 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 little mini succulent that I just, I can pop him off, you see? And he'll go right here at the end. Oh, there's like blue, blue strings, hold on. This one will go right here at the end. I'm gonna move him over here. And as we, add, these are too big, yeah, those are too big because of the pots. The pots are too big, but I do have smaller pots that I don't, see anywhere nearby I don't know where they went but we got the bigger plants that we can put on the sides like that we got the little the little watering can that we could put on there if we wanted to so I'm going to be carefully be careful be careful and lift this up to show you because I don't have zoom on my camera are you going to make a little fiber to, to on the top shelf too? What do you mean, up here? I, I haven't finished making flowers and stuff. I'll, I'll be I'll be adding um, vines uh, uh, along the, the pergola. So we're, 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 we're in the, the beginners process still because we've got more plants to make. Okay. Balance, balance, balance. Careful, careful, careful. Not that anything is breakable, but I don't want things to fall. Okay, here we go. There you see. Can you see it? There you go. So that's going to be painted with the antique wax as well. And then we'll start making more plants to put on there. I do have this one that I got at Hobby Lobby. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. That can go on the top here as well with flowers. And like I said, I found these white flowers. So I, I just need to get some plant some planters for it. And I don't know where the other planters were because because oh you know what? Are they in the box? Did I put them in a box? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, no, no, I didn't put them in a box. But I do have, hold on. These mini baskets that can also go on there like that. Yes, I'm going to do hanging ones too. I found um, a YouTube channel that made some hanging plants. With the little um, mini macrame. So I'm going to try that as well. So from up here, they're going to be hanging. And the, um, like I said, the, the, the lights. I have these fairy lights. That I'm, I have five of these little jars. That I'm going to put the lights inside like this. 
and then glue this to the like this or hang them i'm not sure how along the the front edge of this guy here but i, I haven't figured out how i'm going to attach them so i haven't done that yet because this is not attached yet because i haven't done what the wallpaper or back whatever i'm going to do for the back i haven't done yet in the flooring either so it's a work in progress there we go and this i i um i distressed this this little pot that i'm that i had i painted it with the terracotta and then i distressed it a little bit added some dirt and stuff so here's another plant this one i didn't make so there, there's a mixture of, of plants that i made and some plants that that are artificial and then of course we have miss chris's kaleidoscope's little succulent that she sent me and i, I painted the pot and, he, and he's inside the pot already yay so all this stuff goes back inside here because i'm using it as storage as well <laughs> So this go the little jars go back in here. And I have I have my, my, my little my little froggies too. So he might he might one of them might go into the shelf. It's like one of those um concrete statues. And I do have my little cat that you know she's gonna be in there as well. I'm not I have these barrels, but I'm not sure how, what to do how to use these barrels, but I had them from my stash a long time ago. Is that everybody that, that needs to go in there? I think so. Oh no, these 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 guys too. I'll, I'll put them on top here with the, with the fence because I had to I had to redo the. There's one guy that, that didn't want to glue down. Look, this guy. See him? See him moving back and forth? You know what? I, I may make some of the fence look like it's broken. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, the, the, the little orange tree that goes outside. One thing before we go, I have fabric from friends that that have sent me some some fabric, and I've done some stuff. I've made tote bags. I've made zipper bags. Um, I made. Hold on. I made this covered notebook with some fabric that Kimberly sent me. The whole the houses my my little notebooks, right? And I also had an extra bottle cap that I used for my kit, miniature kitchen, so I put it on there. But Miss Pam from Be Creative Craft suggested instead, of, you know how I was doing the the flower tote bag with flowers to make a subscriber tote bag, but I, I, I didn't like the name, so I'm calling it my friend's tote bag. And I'm taking a four-inch square from, from the fabrics that, I, that my friends have sent me to add to the... So, of course, I have the, the Coca-Cola fabric there. I have this fabric that Mishy sent me. I, I, I still haven't figured out who sent me the lemon fabric. But I'll find out. And then Miss Pam sent me the minion fabric. So I took a, a little swatch of each one. So I have it here in this little folder that I have a rubber band. So if anybody's interested in sending me some fabric to add to the friend's tote bag, just message me on my on my email, nancy at littletreasuresbynancy.com. And I'll send you my address because it's... I don't have a, a P.O. box, and I'll only send you my address if I know you or if I know of you because I only know you guys from chat. But if I know a stranger asks me for the address, I ain't going to do that. But that's a, an, another story because <laughs> we, we haven't been able to get a P.O. box here in town. So um, I don't have a private, a public address yet. Welcome back, Miss Nati. 
And tomorrow is what the sketch Wednesday. And guess what? Nancy hasn't sketched all week since last Wednesday. So tomorrow I'll be catching up. So maybe I'll do two again this week. I don't know. And um, then we have Friday. We're going to be doing UV resin on Friday. And then on Saturday at 2 p.m. is my members only live. And we're going to actually work on the Impkin you guys picked on December. Yes, December. Because I, I did start the Impkin, but then he looked too cute to add anything else to him. So I'm going to have another body ready for Saturday. And we'll start doing all the accessories and stuff to it on the member's life. If you guys have any ideas or projects that you'd like, like to see here on the channel, just let me know. Again, my, my email is nancy at littletreasuresbynancy.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching, Do And in the comments below, type, I mean, leave me an emoji of... We're going to keep it a plant. I don't think there'll be a shelves or or maybe there's a picket fence. So either a plant or pick a fence in the comments below after the live. Because you never know if I'll pick this live for the next giveaway. Or any of my lives or any of my videos. So until next time, be brave, be strong. Hold on, let me, let me grab my shelf because I'd like to show it off with the project I worked on before I, I sign off. It's looking cute. Can't wait to fill it up with plants. Okay, let's start again. Be brave, be strong, and create a planter stand. Till next time.